as you all can hear you the para say we need to do justice we're supposed to protest justice for you because of all he went through in the hand of me <laughs> i don't check him check everything and say it's true it's better oh. we do protest for him because i have sit down and checked this whole thing and i found out that uh -uh, what this man is going through is not good now ha. Mm -hmm. and uh, and i think that we all should do a protest mm -hmm. if you are in enugu gather in a para square if you are in abuja meet in a eagle square if you are in aba let's see you know sisoma if you are in over there uh stadium yes let's all gather so that we can protest and see if we can seek justice for you for all he went through in the hand of me because i have seen that and checked this whole thing and he made that speech and i look at it and said he actually spilling fat yes because i can't see the reason why jule will cheat on his wife and the wife will be angry imagine he got married to another woman after cheating on him and she got angry why why would she do that don't you know that men are polygamous in nature can you imagine and upon that you gave birth why in marriage with another woman and she got angry why would she be angry can you tell me the reason why she said don't she don't she know that she's an african woman she's not supposed to be angry at such huh? Me, why? Why would you be angry that your husband got another woman pregnant? Why would you be angry that your husband got married to another woman? Huh? Why would you be angry that uh, he gave birth to a child? You're not supposed to be angry upon all the cheating. How can you be angry that he cheated on you for 10 years now? He has been cheating on you with Judy. And you are angry. Are you okay? Don't you know that you are a woman? You're not supposed to be angry. Whatever a man do to you, you have to bear it. You're not supposed to be angry. You are a woman. Why you need to call on your man? Hmm? You will abandon you to Enugu and spend months in Enugu and you are angry. Why? Are we imagine that he has gone to look for money for the family. Eh? And it's only Judy that will give him the opportunity to make money. Because Judy is a, 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 a producer and he is a director. Eh? You don't know that producers have money and you are angry. Please, my people, let us seek justice. Let we not wait until you buy before we go find justice. So, you, I have checked what you said is really, really right. And we all shall come together and give you that justice that you deserve okay welcome we'll give you justice because people have bullied you blockers have tell lies against you they have analyzed your case they have so all said all manner of things against you eh? because of this little mistake that you did mistake that you have asked for forgiveness so, and nobody wants to forgive you even me imagine eh? Me, why would you be angry that you lost his own son? No, and after losing his son, he decided to come on social media to start gallivanting and start having fun, trying to use it to while away the grief. And you are angry. Why are you supposed to be angry? Tell me, hmm? I'm not supposed to encourage him, clap for him that yes, my husband, right now, what you are doing is good. You don't worry. We all gather and seek justice. The way we are seeking for Mobad, because we are Mobad, and your case and Mobad case is looking so similar. Yes, sir. justice for you, Mobetu. Justice, my people. If you think my suggestion is good, please uh, comment. I want to see your comments. Okay? Make sure you drop your comment. 
I can see now you have left us now. I ran to Abuja to go and hide. Huh? And still, we don't want to seek justice for him. It's so, so bad. How can a home you run away with Judy? And Judy is now hiding. She's our fellow woman. Please, please, allow me. Justice for you, Beacon. My people, if you think my suggestion is good, drop your comment, okay? Let's go help you. Help you get back to his freedom. Yes. And let justice be served. All right, my people, see you. Listen, let me tell you something. If you are that person that is always looking like you need help, nobody will help you. Learn the act of self ah, packaging. Yes. Those of you who always want to look like your problem, they want people to pity you. Every time you begin a bury, 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 let them pity you. Let me tell you what we are going to do. Hmm? When you look like you need help, you look like a beggar, you look like a thief. People are going to give you peanuts. People are going to use you. When you are vulnerable, that's the most important time to package your safe. What did I say? Package your safe. What did I say? Package your safe. What did I say? Package your safe. Can somebody say package your safe? Can somebody say package your safe? I want to hear you say package your safe. What did I say? Package your safe. Public content is different from private content. They see you before they know you. Nobody loves you for who you are. They love you for what they see. Yes. They now judge a book by the cover. So make your cover very, very attractive. The eyes eats before the heart. I go first of all see you. You're going to be looking attractive. You're going to be looking hot, sexy. You're going to be looking cute, handsome. That is going to quantify the kind of app that people are going to give you. So, if you're that beautiful young lady or that handsome young man, you don't leave yourself. You don't leave yourself. They will carry you the play. The reason why some of you are not successful and you have not gotten to the place that God has signed you to be, it is because you have not learned the act of self-packaging. You have not learned how to comport yourself. You have not learned how to love yourself. Because before people love you, you have to give that love to yourself. You reflect who you are by how you package, by how you dress, by how you walk, by how you comport yourself, by how you carry yourself. The way you walk, the way you stretch your leg, the way you shake your body. All people need is self-courage, self-confidence. Talk like you got the world under your feet. Talk like you know it all. Talk like you know where you're going to. It is called direction. It is called vision. It is called zest. That is what people want to see in you before they can help you, before they can cling to your dream, before they can invest in your dreams. The moment you lose that act of self-packaging, you have lost your true identity. Remember what I said. They see you before they know you. Everybody is not supposed to know you. It is very few people that are supposed to know you, your loved ones. If everybody actually know who you are, nobody will want to associate with you. That's the reason why when you come to the public, you package. We have public character. We have private character. There are some things we do behind our closed door. There are some things we do outside. And that is the reason why God gave us a heart where nobody can see. It's because God even understands that we need privacy in our life. If not, he would have made our intentions transparent to human nature. Brethren, learn the act of self-packaging. It can never be underrated. Stop looking like your problem. Stop looking like your problem. Because when problems see problem, problem they wrong. You will look like you got it together. When they talk to you, you speak English. You say, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it, I got it, I got it. That is what Christianity and religion call fit. You speak it into existence. You walk it. You act it. You become it. And it's
will come to pass. Akbo, your feet. Akbo, your feet. Akbo, your vision. It's not every time you will look like your problem. Let me shock you. Can I shock you? Can I shock you? Everybody is going through a lot. But some of us have learned the act of packaging to be able to hide our pain and what we are going through with the way we look and the way we dress. If you see me now, you're going to get like billions on my accounts. But she, she not it. But I'm going to walk like I got it all. <laughs> I'm going to walk like I got it all. When I march into the back, even if I want to withdraw 2,000 naira, I will not look like 2,000. I cannot look like my bank account. I'm going to look like my dreams. I'm going to look as big as my dreams. So that when I tell you where I am going to, you will not doubt me. When I tell you where I am going to, you're not going to look at me twice and say, this woman is not normal. Anything you say you want to be, you have dreamt. You have to look it. I thought I should tell you today that you need to learn the act of packaging. If you look like you need help, nobody will help you. They see you before they know you. And in reality, nobody actually gives a fuck about you.